When you come across the name Spain, mostly people think about road trips, clubs, football and dance. All thanks to the movies like Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara. But Spain has a lot more to explore. Hello and Namaste. Welcome to the channel Tips on Travel. We have some important tips on traveling in Spain at the end of the video. So do hang on. Spain has a huge historical background and places that were discovered or developed in 10th century which are holding still till day. In this video we are going to take you to Barcelona, Abe the Monsterate, Cardona, Sidge and Tarragona. Barcelona has a lot of things to be famous for like its beaches, football clubs, nightclubs and unique Gaudi structures like Casa Mela, Casa Batlo, Park Güell and Sagrada Familia. There is a very interesting fact about Sagrada Familia. This masterpiece is under construction since 1882. Castle de Monzoet. This place is full of history. This fort saw its first battle in 1641, which was known as the Battle of Monzoet. However, the old fort was demolished in 1751 and nowadays this castle is the city council. San Sebastia Beach The first beach to allow men and women to swim in the same area in 19th century. The end of this beach welcomed a massive hotel, the Hotel W Barcelona, which shaped like a snail. The Barcelona Aquarium a transparent 80 meter long tunnel where you can walk and swim among the sharks, ocean sunfish and many more aquatic species. The place is best for your kids. Aquarium has nearly 450 species and approximately 1100 marine animals including penguins. If you are a football fan then you must visit the Barcelona Stadium Camp Nua. This is the third largest football stadium in the world. One can take a stadium tour, visit museum and spend some time on the field and all that will happen for just 35 euros. The next destination is 66 kilometers that is approximately one hour of drive from Barcelona. Abey the Monsterate. If you are not renting a car then you can reach there by train to Abey the Monsterate and then followed by a cable car journey or also by bus from Barcelona. This place is surrounded by mountains of unusual shape which was discovered in 9th century. This place is also popular for hiking and cycling. Abbey the Monstrate or San Maria the Monstrate because this is the home of the statue of San Maria with a baby child which plays an important role in the cultural and spiritual life of Catalonia people. And now the next destination is 58 km from Monsterey. Cardona Salt Mountain. It takes around 5 hours of train journey from Barcelona to reach this old and stylish Catalonian town. The mountain is mined for years till 1997 and then later shut down due to geographical reasons. Currently, one can take a 1 hour of tour to the mine exploring about the formation of different salts minerals and a brief history about Catalonia. The Castle of Cardona Constructed more than 1000 years ago, the Castle of Cardona is one of the most well remnants of Spanish antiquities. The castle has amazing safety and the excellent panoramic view to the city. The fort is currently used as a luxury hotel named Parador de Cardona which may cost you up to 300 euros per night depending on the suits. Sidge is lovely Mediterranean coastal town which is 104 kilometers from Caradona. The town with the 17 beaches. I must say Sidge is very happening and beautiful city. You can just sit around and admire the sea view and the seaside cathedral. You can spend the day shopping, enjoying drinks and pub, exploring the old city and Spanish constructions. So we have reached our last destination that is Tarragona. Tarragona Amphitheater. It was built in the 2nd century AD. Initially the amphitheater was used for two activities. The battle of gladiators or fighting or hunting the animals. 
Now, the amphitheater is included in the World Heritage List of UNESCO and is one of the most visited attraction of the city. The Pont del Diable is an ancient bridge built to supply water to the ancient city. You can also walk around the bridge at the top to see the city view. Momento a Lost Castle, a symbol of Catalonian culture and sport heritage. The master is considered complete only when it gets assembled till the first person raises his arm in air and deassemble from top till bottom. Tarragona Sunset Balcony is the finest point to witness sun setting down the sea. It's very close to the city market too. And now let's go to tips on travel. Just like other European cities, Barcelona has great public transportation system. Additionally, in Barcelona you can purchase 10 journey tickets for 10 euros from metro station ticket vending machine. This ticket will be valid to commute through metros, buses and trams across zone 1. Barcelona is the theft capital so be aware about that. If you are renting a car in Spain, remember that there are barely free parkings available in the city during the daytime. But after 8 pm, all parkings are free. The color strips on the road have a specific significance with respect to parking. Blue is for private parking, yellow is for paid parking and white is for free parking. Stay alert while you are parking your car. Road tolls are very expensive in Spain, yet it's cheaper to rent a car than public transport to travel in Spain. And to rent a car, do carry an international driving license as most of the rental car companies may ask for it. The restaurant scam. Some restaurants in Spain have two menu cards of same language but with different prices. So if you behave like a stranger, you might have to pay extra for your food. If you're eating in a Spanish restaurant, try to be a part of a Spanish culture too. Put your hands above the table instead of under. Otherwise, people around may find it a little bit offensive. Thank you for watching the video. Do follow, like, share and subscribe.